This is Crash Course in Enterprise Java Beans 3 with Rational Application Developer for WebSphere. Part 7 of 9, Creating the Web Project. Okay, you've come a long way, and now it's time to finally use this EJB that you created in a web project. And so you'll get to actually see the results of your work. We're going to, by the end of this section, have a working uh, web web page which counts views. So every time you refresh the web page, the view counter is increased and you can see the number of views on the page. So the first step is of course to create a new web project. So again, right click the blank space, highlight new and click dynamic web project. We don't want a static one. And now for the project name, I'll call it web crash course blog. Everything else on this page can be left blank. The module is already the latest module version, and here's our uh, WebSphere server configuration again. And we do want to add it to our EAR. So our, our EAR, again, remember, packages up kind of all the separate packages that are part of one working project. So it'll be our this web project, it'll be our EJB view counter, and, and any other EJBs you create and all need to be packaged up into one EAR. And this next page, you can just leave alone and hit finish. Now it asks you if you'd like to open the web perspective. And, uh, we'll just leave it a no. Uh, the web perspective adds a couple extra panes that can help in some cases, but we'll stay in the Java EE perspective. Uh, so you see that it opened up another help page. And you can pause this video at this time and look through these topics or just close this. And then let's look through our web project. So there's a number of resources. Uh, this first one is kind of a configuration for your web page. And we have our Java resources, any JavaScript support libraries, uh, some security and diagram, and our web content, which is where our pages will actually reside. Um, as well as our servlets will be here inside Java resources. But if we right click the project name, Web Crash Course Blog, highlight new, you can see all the different types of new files and things you can create, and these will automatically be put in their correct places. So for example, right now we're going to create a new web page, and you'll see this, this new web page will be added to web content, the web content folder automatically for you. So go ahead and click new web page. As our file name, I'll just call it first blog post, and we want .jsp. That is a Java server page, and it's it's a page with uh, server side content, as our view count will be. And then, Rational Application Developer conveniently provides some neat page templates. So if you look through these different sample templates, you may want to look for other designs, but I'm just going to choose this family A, no navigation, and through these. There's a blue one and a gray one and a green one. And they're just some kind of starter templates to, to get you going with your website. So I'll, I'll choose green. And everything else is fine, so just hit finish. And now you'll see in our web content folder, our first blog post.jsp file has been created, and it's opening right now. Uh, it also created a theme folder, which contains the template that we just chose. And here's the template file. The template file actually defines a lot of the HTML in each page. So if you see a code editor here, let me go ahead and minimize this bottom section and get the outline out of the way as well. So you can see that there's a lot of a lot of grayed out text in here, and all the gray text comes out of our template up there. So if I were to open this template file right here, then you can see this doesn't have grayed out text and and you can change any of the content here and uh, save it and it'll automatically be applied to our Java server pages. So for example if you wanted to change this image up here you know you could replace it with your own custom logo and save and it would automatically be updated on all the Java server pages that depend on this template. But for now we'll just stick to this basic page. I don't have a logo to put in there. Um, we'll start with our title bar, so I'll just add some spaces and first blog post from EJB3 
Crash Course Demo Blog. And then our content goes up here. There's a nice what you see is what you get type editor up here. Um, so I can just type right in here. So I just typed a little sentence right there. And, and then down here, I'm going to put a little placeholder that we'll fill in later. And I'll just say, view count here. And so a little bit later, when we when we put in the code to actually show the view count, you know, I'll just select this right here and replace it with the view count code. Uh, but for now, we actually need a to add a servlet. So in the next section, we'll create our servlet and write the code that uses the EJB in order to get the view count and increment it, and then comes back to this JSP page and fills it into the page. This is Crash Course in Enterprise Java Beans 3 with Rational Application Developer for WebSphere, Part 8 of 9, Creating the Servlet. Okay, so continue.